Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's begin to appreciate him. Let's begin to appreciate him. Jesus. We praise unto the Lord. Thank him, thank him, thank him. The Lord is awesome. The Lord is good. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We lift up your name on earth. Glory and honor. Praise, thanksgiving and adoration. Yes, grab unto your name. Father, we thank you. You are after. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we We worship you. You are Yes, Jesus. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The mighty in battle. Oh, Jesus. Divine majesty ah. himself. God of Abraham. Yes, Jesus. Isaac and Jacob. God of David. We thank you. God of Abba Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The lion of the tribe. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. He reigns. Glory to the Lord, the 
I want to repeat it again because it's a serious matter. On Saturday, after the vigil, as I went to rest, the Lord talked to me. And it was a serious issue. He said his people should change him. Mostly my co workers, my ministers, members. Praise God. Most of the time, what you think does not matter, matters much in his presence. If you're a government worker, I want a genuine answer. If you're a government, I mean worker, a civil servant, when are you supposed to resume work? Who can answer? Yes. Eh? Eight. He said, but my people that claim that they are working for me. They come when they want. When are they supposed to go, civil servants? God is not happy. It's not only workers, including some people that claim that they are true worshippers. God said, I am interested in time keeping. If we refuse to change, many people will not get it. it there will be a problem with him. Don't short change his time. Praise God. When he was saying it to me, it was not a laughing matter. But I am just saying it in a very common way so that those who have ears will hear. Father, I have delivered the message. My hands are washed. Praise God. Praise God. Only few people say hallelujah. Sister Chica didn't say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I listened to our sister that came with her son. Her testimony was a wonderful one. And she made tears to come out from my eyes this morning. Also listen to the sister that is pregnant that comes talking about her husband he says she cannot stand to pray tell your neighbor look at his face look at her face when you do not pray, not pray. Satan, steps in. Satan steps in say it with all seriousness When Satan steps in, you will lose your peace. You will lose your joy. You will lose your blessings. You will lose your health. But when you pray, your peace will be restored. Your joy will be restored. Hope will be restored. Faith will be restored. Life will be restored. Therefore, choose one. Oh, 
When you pray. When you pray. One of the best ways to communicate with heaven is through prayers. When you pray, you are doing yourself good. You are not doing good to God. It is only when you render genuine worship, worship in holiness and righteousness, without attaching any benefit from it, that you can say you have what? Giving God his food. But no matter the kind of prayer you pray, it is for your own good. Praise God. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master key. Hallelujah. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer should be walking but at the beginning it was not so which means you have to go to God and say God what do you want me to do because 2018 we will think big act big and demand for big things and you will see God in action praise God God said prove me if our prayer only centered on every now and then God Use somebody to favor me. God, use somebody to favor me. That is not the type of prayer God would want you to be praying every day. Praise God. One of the prayers that we make God to move very fast, if possible from this month, but mostly from next year, God, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Do you want me to buy a house? I mean, build a house for you. Do you want me? What do you want me to do? Just ask for big things. Think for big things. And then stop praying. Start praying. Take a step of faith. Let me use house. Go. I want to build a house for you. Maybe at our father. Maybe at our camp in eastern side. I want to start. God, I want to challenge you. Praise God. 
You may come to me or go to chairman. Give me your sketch, your building plan. Remember, think big. Don't say the one that I may be two and a half, I mean, two bedroom. No, 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 no. Think big. God, I want to build administrative quarter. I want to deck in it. Praise God. And the sketch is given to you. The plan is given to you. Don't wait until you gather the whole money. Even if it is 250,000, 300,000, start the foundation. Don't look for who will help you. And say, God, you said to Zerubbabel, the hand that laid the foundation, that hand will finish it. God, I have come to build. I am challenging you. Doors must be open. Praise God. He will watch you. Remember, he tests people. Remember, he proves people. He will test their faith. At that moment, he may bring to you a connection of maybe 2 million. Remember, I started with 250 or 300. Praise God. Out of the 2 million, he tried you. Probably, you put 1 million. He's watching. Prayer continue. Prophecies continue. By the time you look back, you find out that within three to six months, highest, you will finish the house. You will see the kind of money that will be in your account. You will see the kind of blessing and open doors that will come to you. This is the type of prayers and faith that God would want us to exhibit. Not God. Please, touch Mr. A to favor me. No, 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 no. You have passed from that level. Let's move forward. I want to stand to tell you, if God is not faithful from what I am telling you, if no money is coming, for, don't, don't continue building. Leave it for divine majesty. We will finish it. But try him. Test him. You will know that you will come out from poverty forever and ever. You will come out from anything that has to do with what? Faulty foundation. And that, uh, listen, listen. When God started breaking barriers and launching you into the realm of surplus, listen. You lay a foundation and you complete finishing it and you see what happened. Then what should stop you from continuing doing it like that every year? Let us come out from the level covenant builders whilst two, three years we have not seen a very strong word block. Let's come out from that level. Move individually. Challenge God as a family. You can't build for God and remember you are making an internal memorial that will last from generation to generation. He said test in Psalm 34 verse 8. Psalm 34 verse 8. Oh, test and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. When you test God, when you challenge God, in Malachi chapter 3, 
in verse 10. He said, bring ye all the tithe into the storehouse. Not because of tithe I came to that verse. But look at the next sentence. And prove me. Prove me. Prove me. Challenge me. Test me. Try me. If I will not open unto you the windows of heaven. Look at it. And prove me. Prove me now. Hear it. Said the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven. Don't limit yourself. Come out from your mentality. Think big. Act big. Please go. Everywhere is quiet. They are looking for trouble. But the truth cannot be hired for too long. The truth cannot be hired for too long. If you want to have estates, I'm telling you before you build your own house, build a house for God. Not shekre shekre house. Original house. That was what made David, I mean Solomon. The Bible said in 1 Kings chapter 6, if you read verse 38, 1 Kings 6, 38, and in the eleventh year, in the month Bull, which is the eighth month, was the house finished throughout all the parts thereof, and according to all the fashion of it, so was it. He, look at the last sentence. So was he seven years, what? In building it. Chapter 7, verse 1. Chapter 7. But Solomon was building his own house 13 years, and he finished all his house. God's house, how many years did it take him? Seven years. But he took his own, took how many? Praise God. Why? God enveloped him. God deposited in him what is called divine wisdom. Insight. Understanding. Because at first he gave God a thousand bull. The Bible said in chapter 3 of 1 Kings. If you read verse 4, verse 4, and the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, for that was the great high place. How, how many? A thousand burnt offerings. This one here, when we give maybe uh, seven cow, under 100, 100,000, we begin to find ourselves. Tell your neighbor, break out. break out. Tell your neighbor, break out. Break out. Can we finish it? Bring it back. A thousand burnt offering did Solomon offer upon that altar. The highest, the first person from the day of Adam that gave God a thousand bull at a time. They have been sacrificing, but it has never been. It's not up to a thousand bull. And what happened in verse 5? Look at verse 5. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared. Who is that man that God wants to appear this year? Who is that woman that God wants to appear next year? The Lord appeared to Solomon. The Lord appeared to him in a dream by night. And God said, Ask what I shall give thee. God is still asking, saying the same thing. You all know the story. How God enveloped him, promise him that I will bless you that no king before you 
I have been blessed with such blessing. And no king after you will I bless with such a blessing. God wants to do something in your life that has never taken place in your community since you were born. God wants to do something in your town through you that nobody has done it. Because if somebody or some people have done it, their own is nothing. They won't see it as anything. Praise God. You want a special breakthrough. News that people will say, see and hear. They said, let me follow your God. Praise God. Another time, because of what God has done. Because we are using it to limit ourselves, thinking that we are so, too smart. Another time that Solomon wants to give God, look at what he gave to him, chapter 8, verse 63. Chapter 8, verse 63. And Solomon offered a sacrifice of, what do they call it? Peace offering. Peace what? Peace offering. Which he, that is to say, God, you have given me peace on every side. That is to say, restoration. He offered unto the Lord, how many want to go? Two and twenty thousand oxen. And what? And 120,000 sheep. Hey! 22,000 oxen. How can God? You gave God 1,000 bulls. And he blessed you. Another time you are coming to give God. You are giving me 500 oxen. That, don't you know that that person has problem? That's part of our problem. At the humble beginning, you move God and challenge God by faith. He lifts you up surprisingly. Instead of going higher and tripling what you have done so that you control to move forward, the enemy ministered to such a man, a woman. What happened? He come lower. So what have you done? You have put a seal of not moving forward. Today, may God give you understanding. I know your man may not be strong. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, come out from shell. Come out from cage. The Lord wants to prosper you. The Lord wants to enthrone you. The Lord wants to lift you up. Open your mouth and pray. Can you stand on your feet? Open your mouth and pray. God want to bring revival. He want to bring restoration. Financial restoration. Material restoration. Restoration in all areas. The Lord wants to establish you. The Lord wants to break barriers. And position you. But this is nothing but the truth. You must understand his principles. You must understand his principle. Anything and everything about God. Is forward ever, not backward. When you are in covenant with him, you will understand what I'm trying to say. Anything and everything about God, forward ever. The Bible said, the blessing of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow. When God is interested in you and he begins with you, you will not experience setback. You will not experience downfall. It is time to break out. Break out. Break out. Break out. So many of us have prayed enough. Challenge God in a big way. And if he didn't do it, we take over. Then we ask God why. We ask God why. At times, when God used my daughters in messages, in revealing some things, and inside me, I always say, did these people understand this message? 
Did you understand what God is using them to say? Listen, when you pay tithe, you didn't give God anything. When you pay tithe, what you did is to give God his own command, his own commission. God said, give me what? One tenth of what I bless you with. So when you pay tithe, you are not giving God anything. You give him his own money. I, I don't know how to, how to explain it. Listen, God gave you two billion dollars, two hundred million is his money, it's not your money. Then two billion minus what? Two hundred million. How many remain? One point eight million dollars. That is your original money. It is from there God is expecting you to do something for him. The other one is not your money. That is his own money. So don't say, I pay my tithe. No, no, no. You are not, when you pay tithe to God, you are giving God back his money. Oh, my, my, my God. Rejoice because you are paying your tithe. You are giving God back his money. It's not your money. If you eat it, you will sit under. To tell you it's not your money. But when you eat your own, anything can happen. But that is own. If you eat it, there will be a problem. You come under a curse. But when you eat your own, you can't come under a curse. But when you learn how to dip your hand, go extra mile through your own. And take your own and initiate covenant. Initiate sacrifice with him. It is then you will see that you have come. He will enter into there. What do you want me to do for you? Praise God. What do you want me to do for you? The Bible said, when you establish covenant with God, Let's see how many thousand generations that that covenant will last. In Psalm 105, when you read verse 18, is this verse? Okay, verse 8, sorry. Let's see, verse 8. Psalm 105, verse 8. Fast, fast. He has remembered his covenant. For how many? No duration. Forever. The word which he commanded to what? A thousand generations. When you enter covenant with God, what God bless you with, it goes through your children, your children, children from generation until Jesus come. Am I talking to somebody? What you will do is always tell your children, this is my key of success. You tell them, they should continue. And in their own children time, they should tell their children, the thing continues. Nobody will go down in the family. Nobody will be manipulated. Satan cannot manipulate you. But when God gives you money, you don't know how to use it. He gives you wisdom and talent. He don't know how to utilize it. He allows Satan to do whatever he wants to do. After all, he was the one that allowed Satan to deal with Job. Does he make him not to be God? No way. He remains God. God wants to bless his people today. He wants to change your perception. He wants to change your ideas. Am I talking to somebody? We have good prayer warriors here. Most of the time, most of us that are members and worshipers, 
We even pray more than some of our workers. But why are we not moving forward? Something is wrong somewhere. Let's break the barrier. Let's tell ourselves the truth. He said, challenge me. Challenge me. Solomon, I love his spirit. He doesn't do what other people do, does. He has not done what other people did. First time, he was the one that initiated what? A thousand bull. Second time, he was the only man on planet Earth that married 1,000 wives. Do you think it's easy? Only one you have, you have problem. Third time, he was the only person that served 1,000 idols. Because each wife came with her own what? Read your Bible in Ecclesiastes and some Proverbs. Solomon was the only one that studied anything studyable. Including he studied madness. Studied foolishness. Studied about the trees. Studied about the fishes. For, studied about the forest and the beast. He even went to, to study what? Ant. He doesn't do what other people are doing. Or did. It is time to wake up and say, God, this vicious circle must stop. I want to break out. There's nothing wrong. Even if it's not in town, but within your kindred, you are the richest man there. You are the richest woman. There's nothing wrong with that. Because he said that we make you the head and not the tail. And for you to be the head, you must know what it takes. Say, oh God, I hear open your mouth and pray. Listen, who is that man that reverence God, a half year of God, a man, a woman that stand by God, that stand for God, that can go extra mile. The Bible is saying in Psalm 112, if you read from verse 1 to verse 3, praise you the Lord, blessed is the man that feared the Lord. That delighted greatly in his commandment. Have you seen it? That delighted greatly in his commandment. Now look at what we follow such people. In verse 2, he seed, their children, he seed. And we have different kind of seed. We have children. We have people that follow us. You have money as a seed. Whatever that stands as a seed, his seed shall be mighty upon the earth. His seed shall be what? Mighty upon the earth. Look at the next sentence. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. The generation of that man, of that woman, shall be blessed. Now look at verse two, 3. Look at verse 3. What, what did he say? Wealth and what? Riches. He didn't say poverty. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. And his righteousness endureth forever. Then you can turn it up opposite. This one said, blessed is the man. So, cause is the man that doesn't have regard in God's commandment. So, one of the things that will happen in his house, poverty and wretchedness. That should not be your portion. Amen. We 
We have been praying. But let break. Let break that wall of partition. Let break. Break out. Let break out. Break limitation. I am looking for somebody that will say, I want to build Eastern Camp of Divine Majesty. We have camp now in the East. Just as we have here. We have, apart from camp, we have land in Ure. Let's invade our own tribes by drawing them to Jesus so that their life can be what? What meaning? Am I talking to somebody? You can see what is happening in the West. You can see what is happening in the West. It is in the East that we are dragging religion. Dragging religion. While in the West, oh my God, may God give us understanding. Praise God. We are still dragging what the West is to no more is to enter court, secret society, caging people. Money rituals. When will this end? Where we have a God that his wealth, if you bring the whole ocean on planet Earth together, you see it's small. It's not up to the wealth he has. But you must know how to draw from it. You must know how to drop from it. Praise God. After our vigil last night, remember one of the praises we said? Nzobu enyimbabi. Instead of hearing Nzobu in the realm of the spirit, what I was hearing, um, there is a governor, his name is Akpabio. What I was hearing, God's will, God's will, God's will. Everywhere, God's will, God's will, God's will, God's will. In the realm of what? We are moving. God's, we are trooping. God's will, God's will, God's will, God's will. God's will is about to take place in somebody's mind. That will blow people's mind. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, let's stand on up and pray. Say, oh God. Oh God. Poverty, I am dropping you. Poverty, I am dropping you. 2017. 2017. I can't carry you. I can't carry you. To enter 2018. To enter 2018. God forbid. God forbid. Remember, we have poverty of the mind. And poverty of the mind is the worst word. Poverty. Both the poverty of the mind, the poverty of the pocket, any form of poverty, we are dropping it 28, 17. Are you there? We are moving with excellent spirit, with spirit of wisdom, with the spirit of wealth, spirit of riches, spirit of honor, to 2018, open your mouth and begin to pray. Talk to him. 
There must be a change. There must be a change for good. A change for good. A change for good. There must be a change for good. There must be a change for good. There must be a change for good. La raga shudia regedia, la raga sakale makunde shudia regedia. Makunde shudia regedia. La raga sakale makunde shudia regedia. La raga sakale makunde shudia regedia. La raga sakale. In Jesus' name. Those from the east, mostly from Anamblast side. Remember, there was one man. I don't want to mention his name. So that if you talk, I will say I didn't say that. Praise God. He build a wonderful edifice for God and handed it to redeem. Abi, are you aware? Huh? Is it true? Tell them. Adeboy came to open the church two years ago in a new way. T tell me how such people will lack wealth in their generations. Have a memorial. A wise man. Do you know what a wise man does? When he identified a star, they invested in that star. You know the person? Jesus. Jesus. May you have insight. They saw a star. They said, no, 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 no. We have been monitoring star. But this one is special. Let's trace it. And they didn't go empty. They invested in him with their gold, with their silver, with their frankincense. May you be wise in this end time. You can see a very vibrant sister. You can see a very vibrant brother. You can see a very vibrant ministry. You can see a very vibrant church that have future. Not the ones that are looking for money. You can identify that does not mean you must be worshipping there. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will defend you. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray. And the prayer will be a revelational prayer. So those my Four eyes should be in the spirit. Revelation of prayer. I promise us, I said from now on, when we come, we shall be hearing what God will say. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Till 31st. The Bible said in Job chapter 40. Job chapter 40. If you read verse 2, 3, 4, but precisely, mostly verse 4, what did he say? Shall he that contain... Sorry, sorry. Ezekiel, not Job. Ezekiel 40. Sorry? Ezekiel 40. Ezekiel 40. Okay. In the visions of God brought he me in what? In the visions. In the plan. In God's dream. In God's revelation. Ezekiel said, 
God brought him into the land of Israel and set me upon a very high mountain by which was as the frame of a city on the south. And what happened in verse 3? The major in verse 4. And he brought me thither. And behold, there was a man. There was who? A man. Whose appearance was like the appearance of who? Brass. With a line of flies in his hand. And a measuring was reed. And he stood in the gate. In the gate stand for city. And what happened? In verse 4. Want to go. And the man said unto me, Son of man, behold with thy eyes, and hear with thy ears, and set thy heart upon all that I shall show thee. For to the intent that I might show them unto thee, and thou brought hither. Declare all that thou seest to the house of Israel. You can see it. He said, and the man said to me, son of man, behold, behold with what? Your eyes. That is to say, see with your eyes. He said, hear with thy ears. Because it's about to say something. Because it's about to direct it's about to instruct. It's about to guide how the year will be. How the next year will be. The next five years. Next ten years. Some countries. Some communities. He said, behold with your eyes. He said, hear with your ears. Look at the next sentence. He said, all that I shall show thee. For the the th intent that I might show them unto thee and thou brought here. He brought you here. He ordered your steps for a purpose to give you beauty for arches, to guide your steps, to tell you what to do, how to do it, so that your destiny will be sweet. Am I talking to somebody? Now, look at the last sentence. Don't bring picture. He said, when he showed us, he didn't say we should close our mouth. What did he say? Declare. Tell it. Talk about it. Declare all that thou say to the house of who? Israel. Say, oh God. Ah, yes, you are sitting down. Say, oh God, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus my Christ, father, my God, my father, my God, as we begin to invoke, as we begin to invoke the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, whatever, whatever that cover our eyes, that cover our eyes from sin deeper, from sin deeper, for not to see deeper, for not to see deeper, whatever that cover our ears, whatever that covers our ears, not to hear clearly, not to hear clearly, whatever. Whatever that we distract, that we distract our heart, our heart, our spirit, our spirit, not to perceive, not to perceive accurately, accurately in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, as we begin to pour the blood of Jesus, as we begin to pour the blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus destroy it now, destroy it now, oh God, oh God, show me where for, show me where for, tell me what to do, tell me what to do, the blood of Jesus one. To go the blood of Jesus Christ, 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 the 
Bible said in Job 20, 27, it is heaven's duty to reveal the plan of the enemy. It said the heaven shall reveal his what? Iniquity. His agenda. And what will be the we, I mean, what will be the the earth, uh, the sin. It said the earth shall rise up against him. Are you there? God will not only show us individually his plan, he will equally reveal to us what the enemy is planning against the nation. Am I talking to somebody? Against your community, against our states, against you as an individual, against me, including against the ministry. So that in the year 2018, we stand to say the will of the enemy must not come to pass. It is the will of God. When you pray according to his will, remember what he told me in the dream. He is, amen. God's will, God's will. God. So, so that is to say, when you are praying, pray God's will, God's will, God's will, God's will. Wow. Praise God. Then there is another one for individual. Deuteronomy 20, 20 sorry, Deuteronomy 29, 29. Deuteronomy 29, 29. Let's see it. The secret things belong unto the Lord. Another word for secret means things that hidden, things that is not made known, things that was covered. It became what? Secret. And if it's secret, it belongs to God. But look at the next sentence. But those things which are revealed when it is made known when it is uncovered 
when it is unveiled, belongs to who? To us. So God will also unveil to you the one that belongs to you. So that it should do, do what? Look at the next sentence. And to our children forever. For what purpose? That we may do, that we may practice it, that we may obediently act on it. Praise God. Are you there? So the last bleeding of the blood, I will bring them out. This is the last. Because after that, we shall make declarations. Am I talking to somebody? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My Christ. Father, my God. My Father, my God. I am ready. I am ready. My heart is open. My heart is open. Reveal. Reveal. As I shout the blood. As I shout the blood. Let the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus. Unveil. Unveil. Secret things. Secret things. Hidden things. Hidden things. Mysteries. Mysteries. Say, oh God. Oh God. As I shout the blood. As I shout the blood. Open our eyes. Open our eyes. To know the agenda. To know the agenda. Of Satan. Of Satan. Are you ready? We are going to plead the blood 300 times. God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And when we plead it, we stop. Remember for unveiling. In the name of Jesus. As I plead the blood. As I plead the blood. Let secret things be made known. Let the secret be made known. One, two, go. The blood of Jesus. 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 The blood of Jesus.
Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Power. Open your eye. Yes. Holy Ghost. Yes. Open your ear. Yes. Holy Ghost. Yes. Open their hands. Yes. Show them. Yes. Give them insight. Yes. Give them revelation. Yes. And boldness to declare. Yes. Now. Yes. Power. Yes, Lord. Give me the oil. When you come to come, let me thank you, Jesus. Aha. Yes, let the oil begin to boil. Yes. Holy Ghost, open her eyes. Now, power. Leave her, leave her, leave her. Praise the Lord. As the prayer was going on, in the realm of the spirit, I saw a newborn baby. And that baby was white. There's no life in that baby. And I heard a voice that said, Ami Genara, surrender the baby. And he said, this is a ministry. It has been since like two years now. But it's not growing because of these forces around it. He said, we should pray and revive that ministry. That the ministry will rise up again. As we are pleading the blood, I hear the voice of that baby cry out. Praise the Lord. Now Please. I want you to lift up your voice. It may be your ministry. It may be an extension of this ministry. It may be your vision. It may be the area that God call you. Say in the name of Jesus. As army general. As army general. As men and women that stand God's oracle. We speak to that baby. We speak to that baby. That represent ministry. That represent ministry. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Baby. Baby. Receive life. Receive life. Receive life. Receive life. In your spirit. In your spirit. In your soul. In your soul. In your body. In your body. Baby. 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 Receive life. 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 Now. Now. And begin to resurrect. Yes. Begin to resurrect. Yes. Begin to resurrect. Yes. Baby, receive the bread of life. Yes. My father. My father. Wherever you are. Yes. Any ministry you have lost. Papatoya. As many that are hearing my voice. My father. I command that ministry be restored. Amen. Be restored. Amen. Be restored. Amen. Be restored. Amen. Hear this. When we talk about ministry, there are people, their own ministry is to be building churches. I hear you, my father. And it takes money to do that. That is to say, God, their own ministry is what? Ministry to finance. Ministry to finance. Ministry to finance. Yeah, so the people they, are, they have we have ministries in diverse ways. So no matter the area of your ministry, 
Since 32 years ago, you have lost the vision. In the name of Jesus, I command that ministry. Come back. Come back to life. restoration speed joy speed glory speed honor you will not be frustrated you will not lack any good thing receive power to manifest 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 nobody will take your life For your life hid in Christ in God. Protected by the altar of divine majesty. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name.